Hey beauties, I know I have on the same look, but today is going to be a review on the Milk Cosmetics Holographic Stick. Um, normally as a colored person, as a colored woman, I would not even go near this because it's blue and it's got like cool undertones. So you would, you would see this on someone who is more of a porcelain skin because they can rock it straight on their face and pretty much be good. Now, um, I use this as a base and it's just because I've really been into the holographic look, as you can probably tell. Um, so today I kind of wanted to pair it with a holographic highlighter. Now this has like blue and purple undertones and then the highlighter that I put on top of it has more of a green undertone. This is the Makeup Revolution Strobing Highlighter and the color is Holographic Lights. So this is what I placed over this and the swatches that I have on my hand is from me doing that <laughs> and you know wanting to make sure that the colors come out the way I want them to so I have a demo and I will say that I do enjoy this so if you are a woman of color all you have to do is watch my demo to see how I was able to make it work for my skin tone I would suggest mixing it with another either holographic highlighter for the center of my face, I use the Milani Afterglow in the shade Strobe Light. This is number one, and I put that in the center of my face because I could. I'm just not bold enough to do blue and purple in the center of my face. I'm trying to step out of my box, but I'm not there yet. For this Milk Cosmetic product, it is very creamy. It is very creamy. It is very pigmented. As you see, like this is it right here, and that's after I you know watched it out so here's with one swipe and it's got like a purpley pink undertone so I thought that it would be perfect there is always a way to work with something so when you feel it it is very creamy it doesn't dry down so you do need to put something on top to kind of you know set it if you are into the bold colors and stepping outside of your box I would give it four stars Four stars being because it's not really a universal shade and some people may not feel comfortable with it. They do have other shades, but this holographic one, I give it a four star because for the most part, it's a great product. It's a great thing to use underneath your highlighter or whatever highlighter you're going to do to kind of give it like a little bit of a boost. So I would suggest giving it a try. I mean, I think it's $24 at Sephora. Check out the demo and I'll see you next time. Okay, since today I'm doing a very cool and neutral look, I decided that for my highlight, I kind of wanted to give the Milk Cosmetics a try. So this is a cream stick, and this is, ooh, this is a duo chrome. Now, I don't know how I'm going to make this work for my skin tone, but I definitely want to try so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and I'm going to get some of this on the brush and I'm going to use this as my base. So I'm just going to pop it right over. And I think it works better this way. So I get a little bit of that. Go ahead and pop it over my where I plan on placing my highlight. So, um, that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a mixture of two highlights to go on top of this because it is like a purple iridescent look. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution. This is their strobe light in holographic lights. I'm going to use a fan brush because I don't want to use too much of this product. And I'm just going to, woo, right there. So it does kind of give like a green hue, which is pretty. It's really pretty. Wasn't sure if it was going to work for my skin, but it's fun. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my usual highlighting brush and kind of blend that out so that it's not doing too much. Because on my skin tone, things can look super ashy, super quick. So for the center of my face, I don't wanna be all green and purple and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Milani, um, the Milani Strobe Light, and this is in the, sh well, the Milani Afterglow in strobe light yeah and this is it right here so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro Light 98 brush and I'm just going to place that on the tip of my nose right there and I don't go all the way down my bridge. I kind of just do a little strip right here. And then we'll just go over our lips. And that's it. So that completes this look. That completes this review my nose itch I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was a little bit informative for you I want to try to do more series where I just review a product I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was informative I am blowing up I hope it was informative make sure that you check out my last video and subscribe to my channel and until next time my beautiful beautiful people bye beauts